A cancer doctor goes far beyond modern medicine to bring hope and comfort to his patients. In fact, this doctor is climbing thousands of feet into the air to make sure that this happens. Yeah, Dan's going to take us inside the story of the prayer flag project. What's it all about, Dan? Yeah, Mark and Sean, it's pretty interesting how this all works here, but it's all about spiritual type of healing for hundreds of cancer patients at Dr. Brandon Fisher's office in Ogden. And his inspiration all come from his love of climbing some of the highest mountains in the world. Come on in. Meet Dr. Brandon Fisher. Your skin heal up. A radiation oncologist at Ogden Regional Medical Center whose patients. Any redness or pain or discomfort? All suffer from the same thing. What if I listen to your heart? Cancer. I was diagnosed October of 2013. There's Candace. It shocked me when they told me that I had a. Nancy. Uh, you know, it's kind of a end of the world. And Katie. Dr. Fisher's goal is to try and rid them of that deadly disease. But there is also a spiritual healing to his work that is bringing great comfort. It is a special healing. To these women. He calls them prayer flags. I thought that is the most charming, most wonderful idea in the world. One of my passions is to climb mountains. I love climbing pretty much anything. The prayer flags all started with Dr. Fisher's passion for climbing. While researching Mount Everest, he noticed all the flags on the mountain blowing in the wind. These are called Tibetan prayer flags, and these flags represent strength, hope, and well-being. And they're dedicated in honor of someone uh, struggling with a sickness or disease. That's when Fisher thought of his own patients. Cancer patients have always been my inspiration to, to just keep pushing on. So Fisher started the Prayer Flag Project that operates under an organization called Radiating Hope. Each one of his patients get a flag dedicated to their name. I do it in honor of all my patients who have had breast cancer. And then he takes those flags all over the world to the top of the mountains he climbs and waves them in the air. What kind of a feeling does it give you as you're holding these flags on top of a mountain? When I get to the top, I definitely hold these strong and um, it gives me more inspiration to be a better doctor, to be a better person. In the five years he's been doing this, he now has about 1,000 flags and he's climbed about 25 peaks across the world. Those high mountain winds will pull these little threads off, and as these threads blow in the wind, it's supposed to represent strength, hope, and well-being. <clears throat> For these women who have suffered from breast cancer, the flags have brought a different kind of healing. I find that there's more than just the physical healing in, in cancer. There's a spiritual side. One you can't get from inside a hospital. The prayers and the prayer flags help you uh, emotionally and spiritually to, to have that strength because a lot of times that's what you pull from. Well, it's been a, a symbol of my journey that I've taken. You know, them hiking up the mountain is the same as me and my process. As the flags fly uh, and the threads fly away, that's your cancer leaving your body. And Dr. Fisher's goal is to climb the highest mountains on all seven continents. Right now he has two left to climb, one of them being Mount Everest. He hopes to do that in 2017 when he will take up all the flags he has collected over the years there and leave them actually on top of the mountain. You can also dedicate a flag to someone if you would like. He has that donation there. It's each flag donation goes to his Radiating Hope organization, which helps African countries with radiation equipment for cancer patients. To learn more about Radiating Hope, go to our website, KUTV.com, click on features and inside the story. But kind of a good, cool idea.